Hey love, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Asia. Yes, Asia like the content. Before this video even starts, let's get into my hair, y'all. If you are feeling these butterfly locks, comment down below and let me know how they look. I'm feeling them. So this is actually my first time getting butterfly locks. So, you know, I was gonna do them long, but I was like, you know what, let me try like the little short look as you can see by the title today i'm just gonna be kind of giving y'all some tips when it comes to making reels on instagram i made like a list of different things in my notes and i'm gonna just be pretty much going off of that i am just a regular person that started my business back in december of last year and i kind of noticed things i do my research and when it comes to my own Instagram, I've picked up on a lot of things that I feel like I can share with you all. So we're just gonna get right into the video. The first tip I would give is just to be yourself and do not try to be perfect. Now, I know you've probably seen other videos saying the same thing, like, oh, just be yourself, just be yourself, ha, ha, ha. But it's true, like literally just be yourself. Like it's okay for you to show the audience that you mess up sometimes because no one wants somebody who's just always robotic and like perfect. Like we want to see somebody that, you know, we can relate to, somebody who is real, somebody who messes up and shows that they mess up and show that they're not perfect all the time. Real does not have to be perfect. It honestly, I would say it just has to be relatable, something that people can relate to. Another tip is to never delete your last reel. Like, don't delete a reel just because that reel didn't blow up. For an example, I have posted reels before on my Instagram and one day it would only get like 100 views. The next day it would be at 2,000. I'm like, where did y'all come from? But sometimes that happens. Like, you know, sometimes it takes a day or two or even more for people to actually start seeing that video. Don't go back and look at your old videos and be like, oh, those didn't get no views, so let me delete it. No, hunty, keep your views, I mean, keep your reels just in case they end up blowing up because you never know. Next one is find a time that works for you. Now, this requires a lot of trial and error because you're going to have to post at different times to see what works for you. Now me specifically, when it comes to my business, um, my business Instagram, I found out that whenever I posted around like three o'clock, 3 p.m., my views like just skyrocketed. Like they just went up through the roof. Now, that may not happen for you. So I'm not saying, you know, just post at three o'clock p.m. every single day. No, it happens sometimes and sometimes it doesn't, but the majority of times it does. So I found out what works for me. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, three o'clock is just the only time because there have been reels where I have posted at like 10 o'clock at night or like at 11 o'clock 11 o'clock at night and they also blew up or got even more views than the ones that I posted at three. So that's not what I'm saying, but just find a time that works for you. Just keep doing the same thing and I promise you, you will see a difference when it comes to growth and views on your reels. Another thing is to use headings that people can relate to. When I say headings, I'm talking about the titles or whatever that people see before they click on your reel. When they see that title, you want that title to you know draw them in because once they're drawn once they're drawn into your video then they will continue watching so that's just a tip try to use titles and stuff that you know people can kind of relate to another thing that you probably hear all the time because i hear it all the time when i watch videos of myself or even when i you know do go on google and search up different ways um to grow and stuff like that be consistent being consistent can be very hard but i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you it pays off in the end when i say be consistent i'm not saying 
post every single day no you do not have to post reels every single day you do not have to do that now one at one point in time i did kind of like this challenge or whatever and pretty much the challenge was me posting a reel a day the only reason why i did this is because i was still trying to like get to know my posting schedule i was trying to figure out what you know when were the right times to post and stuff like that i was trying to figure out the plan um that i had for my business page and that's why i did that so i had posted you know every day for an entire month different times when i say different times i mean different times some days i would post in the morning some days i'll post around the afternoon some days i would post super late at night like almost hitting midnight but it was just so that i can see like okay on this day when you know when should i post on this day when should i post on this it's all pretty much just like a game like you're trying to see what is best for your page another thing that helps when it comes to posting um the reels is to ask questions ask engaging questions like once you have you know the title and your actual reel underneath that <clears throat> in like the body try to ask questions that people can answer you know like questions to where people can comment and engage with your post so that's just something that helps with you know more engagement another thing that I think this is the last thing. The last thing would be just to to use hashtags in your videos. Now, I'm not sure if like the specific hashtag hashtags that I use in my videos is what helped me get some of the views that I got, but you can always try. Like I said before, it's trial and error. But once you try something and it works stick to it and be consistent I definitely have seen a lot of growth on my instagram and i am so happy and i'm so proud of it i actually recently did a giveaway on my instagram so if you are not following me on instagram it is always done below i'm also going to put it somewhere on the screen so y'all can see but i did a giveaway and um the giveaway is already finished but we had two winners on the giveaway and that was my very first giveaway so i am so excited y'all one thing that i can say is the more that i learn about my business and instagram and stuff the more that i grow so never stop learning never stop you know accumulating that lot that knowledge because it will all pay out in the end so i may do like a part two on this video if i you know have some more tips for you all i would definitely do a part two video i hope this video helped somebody out there that is struggling a little bit when it comes to reels or growing their instagram yeah just don't give up and be consistent if you're gonna say if you're gonna tell your people that you're only gonna post on mondays or twice a week or three times a week post on those days that you say you are going to post and do not stop i promise you you will see growth that pretty much concludes this video y'all thank you all so much for watching this <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and push that notification bell so you will get notified every time I post a video. All of my social medias are down below. My business is also down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.